Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next episode of Yoga with Sandy. Today we are going to do a new set of yogic practices. Before starting the yogic practice, make sure you do a warm up. For that, you can just see the description for the links on the Surya Namaskar warm up. So let's go for it. So the first one is the Uttan Padasan or the raised leg pose. A very good asan for people with diabetes and also a very good asan for the digestive system especially people having constipation and stomach related problems it's also a very good asan to improve the reproductive systems so let's see how we can do it so you come to a supine lying position that is on your back you just lie down on your back with the hands by the side of the body feet together with the toes stretched down Now you slowly inhale and bring your both legs up and above to a position where you can feel the contraction on your abdomen just try and hold in that position for maximum time try and hold to your maximum if you feel any discomfort you can come down otherwise try and hold there to your maximum If you feel any discomfort you can also bring it slightly up and hold there and you can gradually progress it as you master the asan or else try and hold in the normal position which is slightly above the air feel the contraction on your abdomen and hold there now exhale and slowly bring your leg down release the position and relax in shavasan feet apart with the toes pointing out hands apart with the palm facing the ceiling head tilted slightly towards the right side eyes remain closed just relax for a few seconds just observe your breath and stay in Shavasan for a few seconds Now slowly release the position slowly bring your feet together slowly bring your hands by the side of the body practice of the same asan uttan padasan now slowly bring your both legs off the floor and hold to a position where you can feel the contraction on your abdomen a very good asan for circulation of blood towards the entire body hold in that position for maximum time facial muscles shall be relax with a smile hold there to your maximum and stay there Now slowly release the portion slowly bring your leg down and now release the portion feet apart with the toes pointing out hands apart with the palm facing the ceiling head tilted slightly towards the right side just relax Now slowly release the portion slowly bring your feet together 
Slowly bring your hands by the side of the body. Now slowly raise your right hand up and above the head. Place it on the floor. Turn towards the right side and come to prone line portion for the practice of Bhujangasana. Toes stretching down. Hands by the side of the chest. Practice of Bhujangasana. Forehead resting on the floor. Now inhale and slowly bring your head followed by your chin followed by your upper body off the floor and come to the final position of Bhujangasana. A very good asana to stretch your chest. A very good asana to strengthen your posterior chain particularly your lower back, glutes and the hamstring. A asana which can be recommended for people with asthma. So try and hold in that final position. Elbows shall remain straight. Try and look up and hold there for maximum time. Now exhale and slowly bring your upper body followed by your chin followed by your forehead on the floor. Release the position and relax in Makrasana. Feet apart with the toes pointing out. Hands interlock at the front with the forehead resting on the hands. Just relax for a few seconds. Now slowly release the portion, slowly bring your feet together, slowly bring your hands by the side of the chest, forehead resting on the floor. Practice of the same asana, Pujangasana, the Cobra pose. Now. Inhale and slowly bring your head followed by your chin followed by your upper body off the floor and stay in the final position for maximum time. Now slowly release the portion slowly bring your upper body followed by your chin followed by your forehead on the floor release the portion and relax in makrasan hands interlock at the front with the forehead resting on the hands feet apart with the toes pointing out just relax Now slowly release the position, slowly bring your feet together, slowly stretch your both hands over your head. Now turn towards the right side, bend your both legs at your knees, take support of your left hand and slowly come to sitting position. For the practice of the next asana, Janu Shirasana. 
hip to knee pose a very good asan to stretch the calf hamstring lower back and the shoulders and also a very good asan for the digestive system as well as the kidneys and liver it's also very good for people with anxiety and depression this asan can also be done for people having menstrual problems and menopause so from an erect position you will just bring your feet apart now from there you will slowly bend your right leg at your knee and try to bring your heel towards your perineum you slowly raise your both hands up and above the head turn towards the left side slowly go down try and hold your toes and hold in that position if possible you can just bring your head towards the knee and stay in that final position for a few seconds a very good asan to stretch your calf your hamstring your lower back groin and your shoulders hold in that final position for maximum time breathing shall remain normal now slowly release the position slowly bring your hands up slowly come to neutral position and now slowly bring your hands down now on the other side slowly release the leg now on the other side slowly bend your left leg at your knee try to bring your heel towards your perineum now raise your both hands up and above the head turn towards the right side and slowly go down try to hold your toes and just hold to your maximum and stay there now slowly release the position slowly come to a neutral position and slowly bring your hands down now release your left leg and now just relax for a few seconds feet apart with the toes pointing out hands at the back head resting on your right shoulder just relax now slowly release the position slowly bring your feet together slowly bring your hands by the side of the body practice of the same asan jan shirasan feet apart now slowly bend your right leg at your knees and try to bring your heel towards your perineum now slowly raise your both hands up and above the head turn towards the left side bend from your hip and slowly go down and hold in the final position just try and hold in the final position and be there for maximum time you can also bring your head to the knee and stay there for maximum time now slowly release the position slowly come to neutral position and slowly bring your hands down release the right leg now on the other side slowly bend your left leg at your knees try to bring your heel towards your perineum slowly raise your both hands up and above the head turn towards the right side and slowly go down and try and stay in that final position for maximum time
Now, slowly release the portion. Slowly bring your hands up. Slowly come to neutral portion and slowly bring your hands down. Release your left leg and now just relax for a few seconds. Now slowly release the portion, slowly bring your feet together, slowly bring your hands by the side of the body. Now slowly bend your leg and come to standing portion, slowly come up to standing portion like I said. For the practice of the next asana, Hasta Uttanasana, a very good asana to improve the digestive system and also the respiratory system because of the stretching. A very good asana also to stretch the chest as well as the spine. An asana which can be recommended to people who are having kyphosis, the round shoulder or the drooping shoulder. So let's see how we can do it. So you come with the feet shoulder width apart, hands at the front back erect scap slightly squeezed head neutral you slowly raise your both hands up and above the head now you inhale and slowly get back to your maximum and hold there Now slowly exhale and bring your hands down and now release the portion and relax for a few seconds. Feet apart with the toes pointing out, hands interlocked at the back, head resting on the right shoulder. Just relax. Now slowly release the portion, slowly release your hands. Practice of the same asana, Hasta Uttanasana, feet shoulder width apart, hands at the front, head neutral. Now slowly raise your both hands up and above the head, stretch your both hands up, inhale and slowly get back to your maximum. Now exhale and slowly come to neutral position. Slowly bring your hands down. Release the portion and now come to Shavasan portion. We'll just relax in Shavasan for a few seconds. Feet apart with the toes pointing out. Hands apart with the palm facing the ceiling. Head tilted slightly towards the right side. Just relax for a few seconds. Now slowly release the portion, slowly bring your feet together, slowly bring your hands by the side of the body, 
Now raise your right hand up and about the head, slowly paste on the floor. Now turn towards the right side. Bend your both legs at your knees. Take support of your left hand and come to sitting position. Now rub your palms on each other. Make a small heat and now slowly place it on your eyes. And now slowly open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed this session of yoga with trainer Sandy. I hope you enjoyed this session of yoga with Sandy. Do send in your comments and feedback on my YouTube channel. You can also give your comments and feedback on my Instagram and Facebook page. Hope to see you soon with another set of yogic practices. Thank you. Keep supporting. Have a great day.